Today I've got another brand new super fidgety knife to show you from Vosteed. This is the Raccoon. And please trust me here when I say this, you are going to be so surprised at everything that you're getting and how much it's actually going to cost you. Up on the screen are going to be some specs and they're all measurements I took myself, but I'll also have them listed for you down in the description, you know, along with the links to buy. Here's a couple quick comparisons so you can get an idea of the true size of knife, you know, that we're working with today. And so here it is next to the Spyderco Delica 4 and of course the Rat 2. So we're looking at about a medium sized knife. Vosteed is the same company responsible for this very popular Thunderbird. You know, it's just another, another super fidgety button lock that I recently reviewed. The Raccoon has a gorgeous three and a quarter inch uh, stonewashed drop point blade in 14C28N. Sandvik, which is a great, that's a great budget steel, you know, known for its incredible toughness and corrosion resistance. It comes so close to having a full flat grind, except for like that very small section right up there at the top. You know, I typically like blades that are like wider than about an inch, and this one is just over that. And the factory edge is nice and nice and symmetrical on, on both sides. So, you know, I didn't have to uh, touch it up or anything right out of the box. I think the 3.1 millimeter uh, blade thickness is perfect for a knife like this because you know it's not it's not going to be too thin like a gents carry and at the same time it's not too thick you know like a sharpened pry bar now i had a heck of a hard time like figuring out which knife that this resembles the most and i would love to know what you think but i finally landed on this uh, gerber slim sada especially you know if you look at, at the blade shape the finger choil and i guess you know a little bit now that i'm looking at it the handle design too i like how you're able to kind of choke you know like all the way up on that blade but i wish you know i kind of wish that the uh, the jimping extended out a little bit further you know maybe to the middle because that's just where you know my thumb naturally wants to rest we get two different opening options using either those thumb studs or you can just go ahead and flick it open by using the button itself now, unlike the Vosti Thunderbird, the whole plunge lock assembly is is exposed, you know, so it's going to be more like a, just a standard button lock. The thumb studs are going to be they're They're large enough and far enough away from the handle so you can easily, you know, flick this open with gloves on. You know, I've been doing like quite a bit of fidgeting with this, you know, since the day since the day I got it and that button you know, it has not, it hasn't loosened at all. I mean, it is at exactly the same depth. And speaking of that button depth, you know, while the blade is closed, you can see the button is practically, I mean, it is practically flush with the scale yeah, as it should be. So it's less likely to accidentally open when it's in your pocket. As a lefty, since I can't see it, you know, when I'm closing the blade, I haven't had any trouble, you know, finding that button by touch. Oh, and did you notice what's missing, you know, when when I go ahead and push that button? Yeah, it is completely silent. So there is there's no there's no clicking noise, which is good because, you know, it means it's not sticking. Centering on mine is perfect and there is not even a hint of like blade or even detent play, you know, while that blade is either open or closed. The action is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, this thing, it flies open, you know, when I push on the thumb stud. And of course, you know, it's going to drop shut when I push the button since it's riding on a ball bearing pivot. The handle is 4.36 inches of micarta, which really feels pretty good. It has no sharp edges anywhere. And I would definitely say that that traction... Yeah, that is, that's above average. Even though the handle is long enough for my medium sized hand, I can just, I can just barely, just barely fit all of my, my fingers on it, you know, when I'm not using the forward finger choil. Now, one small gripe that I have when I'm gripping the handle is that, you know, my hand just kind of feels far away from that blade. So I, pretty much always you know choke up when i'm using it we do get a two position uh, a deep carry pocket clip but where it's mounted is going to cause the knife to kind of have a shallow riding pocket 
I do appreciate the low profile of the clip, but honestly, I think it's a, it's a little too low of a profile because it, it kind of limits how thick of pocket material, you know, will fit under it. But I got a solution for you. The old Civivi pocket clips will fit this knife. Now, if you don't, if you, if you don't have any, you know, just go ahead, use my link uh, down in the description and you go to Amazon, buy yourself a pack. You get like two of them for five bucks. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to use the screws from the original clip because, well, they're just too short. So you're going to need to find yourself a little bit longer ones. I don't usually care about the packaging, but you know what? The presentation here is really nice. And they did go ahead, just like with the Thunderbird, they threw in a bunch of extra stuff. I mean, you get stickers, you get a rag, you get the pouch, you know, the whole the whole deal. Now, this is going to be available on Vostid's website in three different uh, micarta colors for $59. And that, I'm telling you, is an absolute steal. You're getting a well-made, medium-sized knife with, you know, great budget blade steel, a, you know, a button lock, micarta scales, excellent fit and finish, and action that is just so good, you are going to have a tough time setting this thing down. Right now, there's a video up on the screen that I personally picked out for you to go ahead and watch next. And hey, if you haven't already, consider subscribing if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. All right, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.